first question, what's the transition been like for you personally? Um, it's been wild, it's, but you know, it's been, uh, it's been awesome just in terms of making the transition from Florida to here, uh, to Lincoln, but we've been on the road so much and been so busy. I really haven't spent a lot of time in Lincoln, except for the weekends, you know, when the, we have our official visits. So I'm looking forward to getting settled in and obviously the university is tremendous. Obviously the fans are, uh, the best in the country. You know, as Frosty said yesterday, if, you know, we sold the, sold out the spring game in a day and a half and everybody thinks they have the best fans in the world, but I think that probably settles the argument as hey, Frosty pointed out. Hey, when you guys go into spring, I guess, um, do you like kind of where the quarterback situation is? Are you specifically being the quarterback coach? Well, you know, uh, I've been on the road and we've had a couple meetings. Um, I suspect that, uh, our experience of here will be a little bit like it was at, at UCF. Uh, so I'm looking forward uh, to, to working with the guys and getting them cranked up in terms of their mechanics, in terms of the playbook and all that sort of stuff and get ready to go. Do you feel you have a guy that can do what you want offensively to do? Yeah, I, I think we got a good room. And uh, I think those guys will um, prove their worth as we work our way through spring. How do you do, do you go in with wanting to give certain guys certain reps or do, is it just uh, no as, as frosty said the competition is is wide open at, at all the positions and it's no different for the quarterback position those guys are going to battle they're going to compete and uh, when the dust settles we'll see where we are what when the dust settles what will the the guy that you guys go with what what kind of traits will he possess what what will set him oh apart? i i think if you've ever watched oregon play and if you've ever talked uh, or listen to, to Coach Frost. We want a guy who's athletic, who can run, who uh, can process a lot of information quickly. Uh, our experience with the, the young cat, uh, Mackenzie Milton, was that way. Uh, Vernon Adams was that way with, with Coach Frost, as was Marcus Mariota. Um, those are the sort of qualities that are probably going to come to the fore um, as we make our way through spring. Coach joked yesterday that uh, when he played – his coach made him run if he ran out of bounds instead of lowering his shoulder. Are you, you guys, do you want that toughness or are you kind of be smart with the hits? Well, you know, when you, when you, when you think just about Nebraska in total, um, you know, who better to know what those qualities may or may not be missing with the program than Scott Frost. And obviously one of the things that was a hallmark of the quarterbacks at Nebraska were they were tough guys. Um, those are the kind of guys we want guys who are willing to compete, um, guys who are willing to, to do what it, what's required to win the game. You, you guys get the addition of, of Noah Vedral. We saw him a yeah. ton in high school. Yeah, Noah's I guess, awesome. How much did he improve from maybe walking on to campus to maybe where he is right now? Uh, what do you mean? Just, just in terms of who he is as a player, how much improvement did he make in, in a year working with you guys? Oh, you mean the improvement over the course of the year at, at UCF? At UCF, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it was, it, was, it was pretty dramatic just in terms of his, uh, his physical stature more so than anything. He was a tremendous athlete. We knew he could throw the ball. We knew he was very bright. We knew he could process the information that we wanted to. But, you know, when you're, when you're a, a young guy like Noah, who's a four- and five-sport athlete, you don't get a chance to lift a lot, you know. And as a result, you may not have the stature as a guy who's just who's done nothing but football. Anyway, um, you know, he, he gained in that uh, part of his profile just his physique, stronger, uh, gained more weight. And, uh, but in terms of the other, his other qualities, oh, th those were always intact. We, we had no issues with those. When you guys are out looking for high schoolers, do you like the multi-sport athlete at quarterback, or do you prefer a guy that maybe is 100% football? You, you, you would like a guy who's a multi-sport athlete, but ultimately it comes down to the evaluation that you're looking at in, in, uh, in what he does as a football player on the field, as a quarterback. Um, but you have to take into consideration a young guy like Noah when you're comparing him, let's say, physique-wise to a young guy who, who has only played football and has been lifting. And you take that into account and say, well, where, who has the bigger upside? All things being equal, you know. Um, but you would like a multi-sport athlete. You, you, you really would. How, how big of a role can Noah play? Obviously, he's got to sit out a year as a transfer, but being a guy that's very familiar with what yeah. you want to do, 
with the quarterbacks, yeah. even from more of a, a mental side? I well, guess. just in terms of, the, for example, the playbook and what, the, what those guys are doing right now, getting ready for spring ball. I've been on the road, so on and so forth. So now Noah, they can use him as a resource. You know, what, what does this word mean? What are these numbers? What's this signal? How do we do X, Y, Z? We've had a few meetings, but they can use him as a resource now in terms of the coaching that that um, we imparted to him during that course of the year at UCF. I guess he, he always, I mean, obviously his grandpa's a coach, his uncle's yeah. coaches. Yeah, I, I guess tremendous he, family. Yeah. He's, does he fit a good role for being that kind of that guy that can show the other guys? Oh, sure, yeah. Him? You know, and I think that's part of, if not all of what Noah wants to do, I think Noah wants to become a ball coach, and he'll be a very good ball coach like his grandfather and his uncles. But, um, no, yeah, he has that personality, you know, um, where uh, that, that coaching part of him is just a, a sort of a natural thing. Yeah. I, how, how excited are you to get spring practice going? I know it's a couple of weeks out, but. but. Well, you know, uh, what's, what's exciting for me is that we've had a chance to have a couple of meetings with the quarterbacks, so it's been great to be able to talk some ball finally, uh, particularly uh, today, you know, we had our meeting. But, um, I'm, I, yeah, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to get going. I've been, I've been excited about getting going uh, ever since that, uh, that Saturday after the, the Memphis game, or the championship game, and uh, getting that end on my, on, my, uh, on my chest and going to recruiting for Nebraska. But I'm excited about getting ready for spring ball.